asking if I plant a garden, and yeah. I do. Right. But the question, of course, always becomes, and I ask this of Scott, which I know he isn't really talking about this tonight, but Scott, can I put you on the spot and say, so when can we get our gardens in? You know, well, you know what the old uh, folklore is, right? Something about valley, frost, right? You look up towards Bogus Basin, and all that safer, safer boot snow has to disappear before it's safe to put it in. So, uh, there you go. We'll, see, we'll, do you see this? Do you see this? Green? Is that green? It's white. No, it's a black. It's a black. <laughs> it should be black, <laughs> frankly. All right, yeah. We'll, we'll try to talk about that coming in, but yeah, you got to wait a little bit on a lot of things, and so I, you follow Jim's garden tips. He's going to basically tell you when to plant stuff anyways. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking notes there. All right, here's a weather fact. Lightning hits the earth 8.6 million times each day. Basically, the atmosphere is rubbing against the earth, like that static electricity you can get, and it's just electricity is just being discharged back and forth, keeping everything in balance. So that's what's going going on all the time. Basically, you've got uh, the bottoms of the clouds, uh, negative uh, charges, and then positive charges is that charge differential, then the electrical discharge is that lightning, and then the charge redistribution. You see the pluses and minuses here, and then the charge rebuild, and the cycle just continues. So, when we're talking about lightning, under uh, 10 seconds, when you l listen from the uh, lightning uh, to the thunder, you, you see the lightning flash, you count 10 seconds or less, it's time to take shelter because it's getting very, very close. And keep in mind, we hear out of the blue that, that statement, out of of the blue. It comes from what we call a bolt from the blue. And that's lightning extending out some four miles ahead. It could be blue skies overhead and lightning can flash. And so that's something to keep in mind. And we heard about heat lightning. What's heat lightning? Well, late at night, you can see the flashes visible, but the storm is in the distance and you can't hear it. And so people will oftentimes call that heat lightning just because the storm is so far away. Lightning deaths, where do they occur? 54% in open fields, ballparks, golf courses. That's the most uh, popular place for that to happen. Under trees, you don't want to go under trees because lightning will hit and and it wants to hit those tallest objects and come right into the ground, beaching and boating. Again, lightning is an issue there as well. And how does thunder occur? It's that rapid expansion. You're heating this to like 30,000 degrees. The air expands and then it comes immediately back together, that clapping thunder sound. We're going to talk more about thunder coming up uh, in another. I'm going to talk a little bit about how why thunder is rumbling as it's going across all the different terrain there. So lots to talk about. We've got all summer to do it because we get rain, we get thunder, we get lightning, we get all those storms, and they're definitely on the way. Yep. But I that's love cool thunderstorms. Stuff. Huh? Yeah, that's, they're fun. That's fun. As long yeah. as you're indoors. As long as you're safe. Yeah. Thanks, Scott.